This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is what I've been told is a Russian dual custody safe lock made in the 1980s. Now, I have some reason to doubt that this is in fact made for a safe, and I'll explain why that is in a moment. But the truth is, I know very, very little about this. It was sold to me as a safe lock, and I had some doubts about that at the time. However, it was a cool enough lock, and the price was right that I made the purchase anyway. So what I'm gonna do is take you through the features of this lock, show you how it works, explain why I think it probably was not meant to be used on a safe, I'll give you my theories on what it is designed for, and then finally, we don't need to know what it was used for to pick it open, so that is what we are going to end up with. So, the defining characteristic of this lock are the two cores, and in fact, you do need to operate both of them to open this up. Those cores are set into a thick three and a half millimeter steel plate on the front, and the actual core mechanisms themselves, which if you look from this side, you can barely see that they're Euro profile cylinders, are set, are actually sandwiched in between two plates, both of them three and a half millimeters thick, and that's about 45 millimeters in between them. So it's meant to be placed on a relatively thick door. If we look at the back, we can see how this operates. Each core does something different. The one at the bottom right here is what I'll call the blocker core, and when that is in the locked position, it prevents the bolt from sliding backer. However, if we rotate it 180 degrees, you can see that it will no longer block the travel of the core. Then we have the top core, I'm sorry, the travel of the bolt. Then the top core has a gear attached to the back of it, and with a 360 degree turn, we can either fully deploy or retract that bolt. So the two cores do very different things, but both of them are necessary to open the lock. Now, why do I think that this is not used for a safe? Couple things. First of all, this is designed for a very, very thick door, about 45 millimeters thick. And if that was a safe door, and we're dealing with something that thick and that bulky, I'd have to imagine that there would be more bolt work than just this one admittedly beefy steel bar, but I'd have to think that they would put more bolt work on a safe door this thick. But for me, the real clincher was the inclusion of this. This is a companion to this lock. It's designed to be installed on the door frame, and it has a receiver right here for that bolt and add some reinforcement. If this was used on a steel box like a safe, there's absolutely no reason to install something like this. It's been suggested to me that this may be a safe deposit lock, and again, the inclusion of something like this pretty much rules it out. So, what do I think this is designed for? Well, the biggest clue is on the back of this lock. And it's not so much what we see as much as we, what we don't see. And that is, there are no provisions on the back for opening this from the inside. So it has to be some sort of secure storage. I don't think it's a prison lock, which is another kind of lock with no controls on the inside. However, I've seen a lot of prison locks before, though admittedly no Russian ones. And every prison lock I have ever seen has some pretty thick plating on the back to keep someone from accessing the plate or the, uh, the locking mechanism. So what that leaves is some sort of secure storage, maybe a, a small storage room. But if that is the case, I just don't know why we would need two keys. So it's a bit of a mystery to be perfectly honest. If you do know what this lock was designed for, when it was made, or even the company that made it, I'd really appreciate you putting that in the comments below because I've done a ton of research trying to find out what this lock is and I have come up with nothing. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's try to pick this lock open. Now the cores in here are very, very low security. All standard pins, all very, very easy to open. What we're gonna have to do is first pick 
this blocker core, and then we will pick the top gear core to physically retract the bolt. So, blocker core first, and we are not even gonna single pin pick this. What we will do is just rake it with this Sparrow City Rake. And I've done it a few times before and it opened really, really fast. Okay, it's not giving me love now. Let me switch directions. There we go. Got that 180 degrees. And if we look at the back now, you can see that it's in the position so it will no longer block the travel of this bolt. It actually, the bolt is, pos is capable of moving now. So that means we have to pick the gear core next and I believe we'd have to pick it counterclockwise to get it to open. So same thing, get our Sparrows rake here and city rake and give this a few wiggles There we go. And if we look at the back, you can see, up oh, wrong direction. There we go, full 360 degrees. And now the bolt is totally retracted. So a really interesting lock. Um, as far as the cores go, incredibly low security. Though it was sold to me as a safe lock, I honestly can't imagine this being used to lock up anything too valuable. Though, as I told you, I really just have no idea. So again, if you do know what this is used for, please, please, please put it in the comments below. I'd really appreciate any information I can get. I can get. So that's all I have for you on this Russian dual custody lock. If you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.